Hey guys, this is part two to my rap to my rap CD collection, and yeah, um, let's get started where we left off. Okay, now this is Easy E's album, which this is Easy E's album, his first posthumous album. This is his album called Eternal E. All this is is his greatest hits, and all this is is his greatest hits. That's about it. Um, it's a pretty dope album to jam out to. If you're a fan of Eve the E, get this. Um, this album was released after he died. He died in 1995. And this album was released in 1995. What's actually nice is that, um, it says on the booklet, that says, or on the CD case, um, all sales from this album, all the money that goes toward this album, it will go towards his, his funeral. Which is very... It's good that they use that money towards his his funeral. And yeah, this is a dope album. If you're a fan of old school or if you're a fan of Easy E, I would recommend for you to get this. Pretty dope album. This is when hip hop was good and it wasn't whack. Released in the 90s. Alright, this is Eminem's second album. A lot of people would say this is a debut. It's not his first album that was released was in 1996. It was his album Infinite. Down flopped, but this album didn't. This was his second album. This is with his album, The Slim Shady LP, which was released in 1999. If you're a fan of Eminem, get this album. This was Eminem at his best, and I miss Slim Shady. I wish Eminem would bring back Slim Shady. I wish he would release another Slim Shady LP. But yeah, um, this was Eminem at his best, at his peak in general. Alright, um, next album. This is Kanye West with Late Registr Registration. This was released in 2005. This was Kanye West's second album. And this was Kanye when he was at his peak and when he was good before he sold out. Um, I have to say, this is a great album. If you're a fan of old school hip-hop or if you're a fan of Kanye, I would recommend for you to get this, like, straight up, get this if you're a fan of hip-hop. Or get this if you're a fan of Kanye. If you want to listen to Kanye when he was good, get this album. Alright, this is Kanye with the college dropout. This was released in 2004. This was his debut. And this is a pretty dope album. If you're a fan of Kanye, I would recommend for you to get this. It's a pretty dope album. Um, you can listen to the song from beginning to end. And Kanye just sold the fuck out. Like, for real. Like, Kanye, he's still good. But his songs nowadays are a hit are a hit and miss. But yeah, this is a pretty dope album. Next album. This was Biggie Small's first posthumous album. This was released in 1999. I have to say this is his only good posthumous album. For real. But yeah, um if you're a fan of Biggie Smalls, get this album. If you're a fan of old school hip hop, get this album. Or if you wanna Collect, or if you want to like get a CD to, if you want to get a CD for your Bad Boy Records CD collection or collection in general or your CD collection, get this album. All right, this is Coolio's second album, which was released in uh, 1995. Um, yeah, it has this song "Gangsters Paradise," as it says on here. Um, yeah, this is a great album from the 90s. It's underrated. But yeah, if you're a fan of Coolio, get this album. I can listen I can listen to this album from beginning to end. It's sad what happened to, to Coolio's hair. Because he went bald. And yeah, um. If you're a fan of old school hip-hop. Or if you want to get a rap CD from the 90s. I would recommend for you to get this one. Incredible. I got this for like, um. One ninety nine at a record store. And yeah. Alright, this this is DMX's third album, which was released in nineteen ninety nine. This is a great album. This is my favorite DMX's album. This this is my favorite DMX album. Um But yeah, if you're a fan of that old school hip hop, get this album. Or if you're a fan of DMX, get this album. This is when rap was good. This when this is when DMX was good. But yeah, pretty dope album. Alright, Big L.
got this at a record store. Oh yeah, this one I got at a record store. Also that big, that last big Smalls album I show you, I got it at a record store. Alright, Big L. This was released in 1995. This was Big L's first and only album he released when he was alive. And I have to say, this is a great album. If you're a fan of old school hip hop, or if you're a fan of Big L, get this. It's incredible. But yeah, it's a pretty dope album to jam out to. If you're a fan of Big L, get this album. But yeah, it's a pretty dope album from beginning to end. Beginning to end, like straight up. Alright, this is Big L, The Big Picture. This was released in 2000. This was his first posthumous album. That was released from his label. And all these songs on air are incredible. If you're a friend of old school hip-hop, or if you're a friend of Big L, get this album. This is now his first album, Illmatic. If you're a fan of that old school hip-hop, get this album. And, yeah, this is Nas's, I would, I would say, it's not his only best album he has ever released. A lot of people would say, this is his greatest album, or this is the best hip-hop album of all time. I somewhat agree, but a lot of people just say, like, this is his best album. But a lot of people don't want to talk about his other albums. It was written, I am, Skillmatic. Life is good. Nazir. God's son. Streets disciple. Like a lot of people just want to talk about this album, this album, this album, this album. But yeah, the um this is a dope album. If you're a fan of Nas, I recommend for you to get this. This was released in 1994. This was Nas's debut album. If you're a fan of old school hip hop or rap, get this album. Excuse me guys. Alright, this is now his second album. It was written. Incredible album. If you're a fan of vocal hip hop, get this album. If you're a friend of Nas and you wanna call any and you want to have it for your collection, I'd recommend for you to get this album. Alright, this is now his third album. Oh yeah, I got this at a record store. This was released in 1996. Alright, this one I got it at a record store. This was now his third album. And it, and it's I am. And it's still bound from beginning to end. After this, he released his album Nostradamus. I don't have that in my collection, but I'm planning on getting it. But yeah, this is a dope album from Nas. If you're a fan of Nas, get this album. This is Nas' album Steelmatic. If you're a fan of Nas, get this album. It's a pretty dope album to jam out to. This was Nas' combat album in 2001. This is when it was beefing with Jay-Z. And it has that iconic diss track, Ether. Incredible song. Incredible diss track, and it's one of the greatest diss tracks of all time. Yeah. Alright. This was the album that was released in 2007. This is Nas with Hip Hop Is Dead. And, uh, This is the first Nas album where I had to skip a track. Um, on this one track called Who Killed It? Um... You hear Nas talk in a weird ass fucking voice and a, and a annoying fucking voice. Um, every single time I listen to this album, I always have to skip the track Who Killed It. Because all you hear is like Nas talking in a weird ass fucking voice. But yeah, if you're a fan of Nas, or if you're a fan of that old school hip hop, get this album. It's a great album. And also, um, this was the first time you ever heard Kanye on a Nas album. But yeah, this was released in 2007. Alright. This is the Kumya Kings. Um, yeah, this is, um, it's basically like Kumya. Musica and it, it's Musica and Espanol. Um, if you're a fan of the Kumya Kings, get this. I can't. I, I don't know what year this was released in. This was released in 1995 or something. I don't know, just released in the 90s. But if you're a fan of the Kumia Kings, get this. Also, I got another. Oh yeah, I um I I can't remember where I got this. It's from my dad or something. I don't know. He let me have it or something, somewhere like that. Something like that. But yeah, if you're a fan of the Kumia Kings, get this album. 
This from your record store? Yeah. Also, I think this is also from your record store. This is a, another album from the Kumia Kings. As you guys can see there. Um, I haven't listened to the Kumia Kings in a while. I'm not the biggest fan of the Kumia Kings anymore. Uh, also, the group broke up. And the main member that went solo is... 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 Frankie J. And he had... He had he, and he had the song... No es amor. And in English, it's... It's not love. But yeah, if you're a fan of the Kumia Kings, get this. Alright, this is Kumia Kings, Amor, Familia, y Respeto. Um, this is, this is just their, their greatest hits throughout the years. Um, this was just released in 1999. This is just years 1989 through 1999. All this is the greatest hits. I'm not really the biggest Kumia Kings fan anymore. But yeah, um, but yeah. This is Nelly's first album. At first, I I saw this at a Goodwill. I recommend I didn't pick it up. I regret it a day after, and like I was just like, "Fuck!" I, I regret not getting that Nelly CD. Eventually, I did find it at a different Goodwill, and I got it. But first, I got it at I got it on Amazon on Prime, and it arrived. Nice. So I have two copies. First, I have the copy that I got from Amazon, and I have this copy that I got from Goodwill. The second time that I ever saw it at a Goodwill. Um, when I first saw this at a Goodwill, I reckon I regret not getting it because I got four CDs, and it was gonna become five or six. But I didn't pick this up. I regret not getting it, but now I have it in my collection, which is dope. This is Nelly's first album. A lot of people shit on Nelly's rapping, but I think Nelly is one of the greatest rappers of all time. If you don't agree with me, go fuck yourself. Nelly is a legend. He's an iconic rapper. I mean, Nelly now, he's alright. But this was Nelly at his peak. This was his debut album, Country Grammar. Alright, this is Backstreet Boys with their self-titled album. This was released in 1997. I think this is like... The remastered, yeah, and I think this is, yeah, this is the remastered edition. Yep, and it's from different years, it's from years 1995, 1996, 1997, and yeah. Um, this is a pretty dope album. If you're a fan of the Backstreet Boys, get this album. I got this at a record store. I remember when I first got this, those memories as a young toddler. But yeah, if you're a fan of the Backstreet Boys, get this album. But yeah. Alright, this is Daddy Yankee's album. Pario, Fino, and Directo. Um, this was released in 2005. I'm not really the biggest... I'm not the biggest fan of Daddy Yankee anymore now that Yankee is complete shit. He sold out. But yeah, um, if you're a fan of Daddy Yankee, I guess I would recommend for you to get this. Can't really talk that much about it. I used to be a big fan of Daddy Yankee back in the day. When I was a young toddler. Or a young kid. But I'm not the biggest fan of Daddy Yankee anymore. Now Daddy Yankee is complete shit. Alright, this was Kumia King's album. Fuego. And it was released in 2004. I think, um, yeah. Um, this is a dope album. This is a really dope album. If you're a fan of the Kumia Kings, get this album. And also, um, if you're wondering what this is, this is the DVD to his album. What you get is like the CD and the DVD. All, all this is is like beh behind the scenes. And I guess you get like a few music videos. But yeah. All right, guys. Um, this CD. Um. This is, just, this is just a random ass buy. Um, I got this when I was a kid and, and I only listened to it once when I was playing with my WWE action figures. All this is is just the, the theme songs of the WWE wrestlers. This is WWF, The Music, Volume 2. This was released in 
this was released in 1997. But yeah, if you're a fan of WWE or if you want to listen to the music from the wrestlers from back in the day, get this. You get The Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, um, Ken Shamrock. Kane, Undertaker, yeah, those other great wrestlers. But yeah, um, yeah, guys, that's about it. That's the end of the video. Um, those are all my CDs. Alright. If I would regret buying any CD, I would say this one. <laughs> this one, I kind of regret buying it. But yeah, um, hey yeah, guys, that's it of my CD collection. And yeah, this video did not drag for that long. Alright guys, peace out. And I hope you have a great day.